Consider how these classic lines of literature might look reversioned in text speak. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Well, you might find it amusing, but for teachers, it's nothing to loll about. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Around one in seven pupils are now regularly using abbreviations like these in essays and tests. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? People want to communicate as quickly as possible and as easily as possible. So naturally, abbreviations and initialisms are going to slip more into the way that people communicate through these new forms of technology. And OMG, this lot agree. I'm so used to speaking like that and writing like that when I'm talking to my friends, so sometimes it just pops up in there when I'm writing. I suppose you feel more relaxed when using that. It's a bit more laid-back language. It's a bit easier to use and it puts you in your comfort zone. There is some times where your brain wants you to write text because obviously you're on the phone so much, but because your teachers are always telling you speak formal English, so you can remember not to. But not all of them think it's a problem. To be or not to be, that is the question, lol. We should accept slang because the English language is always evolving and slang today is just a part of that. Mm, Simon Mayo, who supports the National Literacy Trust, is having none of it. Language is evolving and inevitably that will seep into what is accepted. But I think it's also important that kids know that if you write that, you'll get a lower mark. And if you write it the other way, you'll get a higher mark. And if you want to do better, you have to write it like that. And it doesn't matter whether you don't like it. That's the way a word should be spelt. Of course, here in Camberwell, our pupils know that there's a time and a place for text speak and would never use it out of context, which is more than can be said for some people. Rick Liptrot, 5 News.